Hey guys, uh, so I am just doing a review of the new CMMG Zeroed. This is the Ambidextrous Safety. Uh, it's got a couple different throws to it. It's got a 90 degree and a 60 degree throw option. So just got this. Uh, I got it from Cabela's, I believe. Uh, they had it list price at $39.99. So kind of giving first impressions here on it. Um, all right. So first off, this is your selector here. You can see the channel cut on this guy. This would be your 90 because it's much shorter than this, which is your 60. You can see the length difference on that. So just meaning, you know, drop it in. And whether you want to go with a 60 or a 90 degree throw, you're going to insert that. Um, obviously, depending on what direction you'd like to go with. All right, see, so you, you can kind of see here, uh, it's got more of this diamond shape to it as compared to uh, like a slick cut that you see in a few, a couple different models that I've seen. Um, so I do like that. It's giving you a little more surface area, uh, real estate to work with. So, you know, again, that diamond shape sets in here. And something though that I'm feeling, or you can see here, there's a decent amount of play. So the machining tolerances on that are not super tight so once I get this installed and put the continued part of this video in there uh, we'll kind of see how much play there is with that um, the screws uh, I like that it's a Torx I'm not sure I'll get an answer for you uh, if that's a T15 a T10 looks like a T15 so really common, like when you, for your optics, a lot of them run like a T15. So at least uh, no Loctite on here. So we'll we'll probably put some on. Um, obviously, this is all that came, right? There's no directions. Uh, I kind of briefly looked on their website. I'm going to look again, see what their recommendations are, if they do recommend the Loctite or if there's a specific one they recommend. Uh, but also a torque setting because obviously you won't, don't want to break anything in on that install um, so both the throw levers here you can see this guy on the left is just a little bit shorter right um, but also whoop, decently thinner so we'll kind of see uh, how we can do that install and how much room there is for getting a thumb on there and manipulating that that uh, selector one thing here, uh, I guess you call it like a, looks like a tractor tire tread, um, that, that neural or that, uh, tread, I guess is run back or like kind of backwards. So when you go to run that selector, it's actually grabbing into your thumb as opposed to if they had to run it the other way, it really wouldn't have much grab. I also noticed there's this cutout on the bottom. I'm sure it's kind of like a weight thing, try to, oh, we're cutting weight on it, which is whatever, but my question would be is, does that give it a cavity for, you know, if you get your gun in the mud, dirt, uh, to get a bunch of crud back behind there that it's going to be obviously a little tricky to clean out, so, or just, uh, you know, if you get a small stone, usually like anything, uh, somehow it gets wedged in there, and it's way harder to get that cleaned out than it got in. So if that binds up and then would create an issue on being able to run your safety. Um, so again, I'm going to get this installed and then uh, we'll come back and kind of show you what that looks like and how it feels, how I like it. So stand by. All right, guys. So you'll see I have this installed into a standard uh, Aero Precision lower. Um, I did set it up technically in more of a right-hand fashion because um, being left-handed, I'm very used to that. I did get an email back from CMMG. That that was the way I contacted. That was by email, um, and I'll throw it up here so you can see it. But they said there is no torque spec to that those screws and they recommend a green or a purple I used a blue because it is still removable technically um, and then I did go with a the 60 degree throw which I do find I really like um, this is going on 
my coyote gun or kind of long range AR as compared to a duty. Um, reason being, my main reason for choosing it as a, for not using it as a duty safety is because it is two screws on each side. Um, what I am thinking I'm going to do is CMMG also makes what would be very similar to your standard uh, safety selector. But what they did is on the flip side, they do one small machining for a secondary uh, safety piece. And I am going to get that and use in a duty because if, for whatever reason, somehow a screw backed out, fell out, this is still fully secured and machined in a single piece, and I can operate it from a from that standpoint, even if somehow that screw backed out and I lost it. Where in this, if for whatever reason in a duty setting, the screw were to back out, right, on either side, um, I could start to run into issues. And I don't want to have to be running around thinking like, oh, no, I got to retighten up my, my uh, torque or, you know, my, my torque screws so I don't lose my safety. That's not something I want to think about uh, in that kind of setting. Um, but it is a very positive click. Uh, like I said, I do like the kind of reverse tractor thread on there, I'm going to call it, uh, because you do get a positive uh, hold on it. You know, this one, like we had talked about, you can see this is a much thinner profile than this guy. So uh, I don't mind it. I'm very used to, you know, being a left-handed, uh, kind of having to adapt to that. But I left it the other way so that if I have friends or family shooting it, it's easier for them to operate so I don't have to worry about safety uh, from their standpoint. But being left-handed, I'm used to it. Um, overall, like I said, uh, the quality seems really good. The, I do like, you can see uh, in the gapping in here, they are tight tolerances. Uh, the, the safety isn't lifted or raised way out and away from the, uh, the actual receiver itself. The, the tolerances do seem well that way. Uh, with it tightened up, uh, you know, I don't have, we had talked about that wiggle with them screwed in. I'm not having it move around. It doesn't have any play. Uh, I torqued these to about, I'm starting at about 15 inch pounds just because I wanted to see how much it needs to get it to stay put and just how it's going to go. But that's where I'm starting. Uh, but like I said, so far, I like it. I like that 60 degree throw over what would be, you know, a 45 would be roughly there. Um, and so I do like that it's the full 60. You get a little bit more. You don't have to worry about bumping it so easily to accidentally uh, kick it into, you know, either fire or safety. Uh, I like that 60 degree throw. It's, it's just a really good uh, angle for, for a safety. Uh, other than that, like I said, that's just my overall opinion, review of the CMMG zeroed ambidextrous safety. Uh, thanks.